What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick modeling tutorial for you. So this one's probably the best fit for woodworkers. I basically wanted to come in here and model out a simple corner shelf and kind of show you how to model out the parts and pieces so that they come together in a way that's really easy to make adjustments to and also looks really good. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna model out a corner shelf. And this is one that I just found online, um, but basically it's a corner shelf with some, uh, some rounded off pieces making up the shelves themselves. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna erase out my default model, and I'm gonna start by modeling just uh, basically the rough shape of a two by four. So you can either model this the tall way, so you can model this the full height, that you want in here. So let's say for example, we wanted this to be six feet high. You could draw a line that's six feet high and then this is going to be three and a half inches wide or you could also model it from the bottom and then extrude it up. In this case, we're gonna model this up like this and we're gonna extrude this and give it a thickness of an inch and a half. And we're gonna take this, we're gonna right click on it, we're gonna make it a component. And we're just gonna call this vertical support two by four. And depending on how you label these, you could probably schedule these out a little bit later. Um, for right now, I'm not gonna worry about that too much. What we're gonna assume is we're gonna assume this is a wood frame. And so the wood frame is going to be made up of two by fours. So we're gonna draw this, we're gonna draw an edge down using the line tool and we'll draw this three and a half inches and then we can just use the rectangle in order to extrude this out. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna push pull this out to whatever we think the thickness of our frame is going to be. So in this situation, I'm just gonna call this two inches or two feet. So I'm just gonna use the push pull tool and extrude this out 24 inches. And I'm just, I'm just gonna triple click on this, right click and make it a component. And so we're gonna call this one vertical or horizontal frame two by four, and you could even put the lengths in here if you wanted to. So I'm gonna call this two foot long. And we're gonna make sure the option for replace selection with component is checked, and we're gonna click on create. So now we have the parts and pieces that we need to make up most of our frame. So we're gonna start by using the move tool in copy mode in order to create a copy of this across the way. So the way that we're gonna do that is we're just gonna select this piece, and we're just gonna activate the move tool by tapping the M key. We're gonna mouse over this corner. And before we click, we wanna tap the control key. You can see how that gives us a little plus next to our cursor. That means you're in copy mode. So now I'm gonna single click, move my mouse across and click right here. And you can see how that created a copy. And then we're gonna do the same thing with this vertical piece. So move tool, tap the control key. So if the little plus is showing, then single click, move your mouse down and single click again. And so what we have is we have one of our two vertical frames. And so one of the things that you wanna think about when you're modeling in 3D is you don't wanna model something like this twice, right? You only wanna model it once because it's going to repeat. And there's a few different reasons for that. Um, so the first is you don't wanna double your modeling time. The second is if we set this up properly, if we change one of them, the other will change as well. But what we wanna do is we just wanna select this whole thing right click on it and we wanna make this a component. So when we make this a component, we can just call this vertical frame and hit the enter key. So what that's done is that's created this as a vertical frame component inside of SketchUp. So now, instead of modeling this again, we just wanna use the rotate tool in copy mode to create a copy of this. So in order to activate the rotate tool, you can tap the Q key, and then tap the control key in order to get into copy mode. We're gonna single click on this corner, single click on this edge, and then we're gonna move our mouse so this is 90 degrees, or we can just type in a value of 90 degrees. And so for what I want here is I wanna go ahead and move this with the move tool so that it's aligned right on this edge right here. And so now what we have is we have this basically ready for us to create our shelves. So the other way we could set this up if you wanted to is you could set this up so that the two corners are like this. The only thing about that is I don't know, that'd probably be fairly strong because the shelves would hold this together. So let's go ahead and do that. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna model out our first shelf. So the way that we're gonna do that is I'm gonna go ahead and create a guide. So I'm gonna use the tape measure tool. I'm gonna click on it. And you can see how there's a little dotted line with a plus 
on there, that means we're in create guide mode. If you don't see that, you can tap the control key in order to get into create guide mode. And then I'm just gonna single click on this edge down here and I'm gonna move my mouse up and I'm gonna type in a value of eight and hit the enter key. And so basically what that's done is that's marked the height of our shelf. And so there's a few different ways you could proceed from here. So you could either draw a line along this edge and maybe draw it to like halfway across his face. So I'm just gonna hold the shift key in order to inference lock to this point. And you could draw a line across here. And then you could draw an arc across these two objects. The only thing I don't like about this is that means you have to figure out what that, uh, what that radius needs to be. The other thing you could do instead is you could just tap the C key to activate the circle tool tap the up key to lock this to the blue axis, and then we're just gonna single click on the center point, move our mouse until we get the middle of one of these objects. And one thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna change the number of segments in here. So I'm gonna change the number of segments in this situation to maybe something like 64, and I'm gonna hit the enter key. And you can see how what that did is that basically smoothed the edge of this circle so that it looks nice. But now what I wanna do is I just wanna draw a line along these two points right here, or along these two edges right here, and then I'm gonna erase out my extra. Well now, what I have is I have my shelf piece, and all I need to do is use the push-pull tool and extrude this up to give it some thickness. And in this situation, I think we can assume this is probably gonna have a thickness of maybe like three quarters of an inch or something like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna triple click on this, right click, and I'm gonna make this a component, and I'm gonna call it shelf. And so now we can use the move tool in copy mode in order to create a couple different copies of this. And so the way that I wanna do this is I want to basically set this up um, so that the spacing is set based on a height above, above this edge and below this edge. So I'm just gonna create a guide and I'm gonna single click and I'm gonna say that I want this to be eight inches below this object. Well now what we can do is we can use the move tool in copy mode in order to create a couple copies of our shelf. So remember, just tap the M key, single click on this corner, tap the control key. We're just gonna move our mouse up until we're aligned with this point and we're gonna click. Well, because this tool is still active, what I can do is don't click on anything else. You can type in divided by and the number of copies you wanna create. So in this case, I'm typing the forward slash and then I'm gonna type three and I'm gonna hit the enter key. Well, what that did is that came in here and that created three copies equally spaced between this point and this point. So you can see how creating your number of shelves gets really easy when you do that. So, and then from here, if you wanted to, you could get a little more in depth. So if you wanted to model out like the different supports or things like that, you could definitely do that. Um, so let's say for example, that this was going to have supports on the outside, well, if you remember, we've created these as components. So I can edit each one of these and each one of them is going to change. Well, in this situation, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click inside of this. I'm actually going to put this in another group just so things don't merge together. And then I'm just gonna model out a little bracket. So it's not gonna be anything special. It's just gonna be a little box. And then I'm just gonna give it a little bit of thickness from the top and a little bit of thickness from the back. And I'm just gonna select it, right click, and I'm gonna make that a component. And we'll just call this bracket. Well now, I'm gonna make a copy of this bracket. And notice how these brackets are now showing up on each one of these. Well, what I wanna do is I wanna make a copy of this bracket inside of this object. So I'm just gonna select the whole thing. I'm just gonna use the move tool in copy mode and we'll, we'll just kind of do this manually. So I'm just gonna select this. Notice how I tap the control key in order to get into copy mode. And then I'm just gonna move this over here. And so then I'm just gonna activate the rotate tool and rotate this 90 degrees. I'm gonna move this up. And I think it's pretty close to a line, so I'm not really gonna worry about that right now. And it's on the back of this face. Well, notice because we put that inside of this component, 
So inside of this object right here, um, that's showing up in each one of these. So that's how modeling with components can be really powerful. Then the last thing I'm gonna do, because I just wanted this to be a real simple tutorial, is I'm just gonna add some wood materials. So I'm just gonna go um, apply maybe the wood veneer material to the outside of this. And then one thing to note is inside of these objects, you don't wanna apply this to the outside of the group because it's also gonna get applied to your bracket. What we're gonna do instead is we're gonna double click in here, and then we're gonna apply this to our wood shelf group that we created over here. And then for these brackets, we can create like a gray color or something like that. So something that would represent metal. Let's we'll click on that. And notice if you do this inside of your bracket component, then that'll be applied to all of the bracket components inside of your model. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Was this method helpful to you? Have you been modeling with groups and components like this? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.